Oh, hello there. Um, yeah, uh, Francis and I, we've got a job to do today. We're going to do some stuff on straight line graphs. We've been asked to do that, haven't we? We've been asked to do, been asked to do something on straight line graphs, we have. Uh, yeah, so what do you, do you know anything about straight line graphs? What do you know? You can do the x-axis. Go on then. Is that it? Okay. Uh, y-axis? Yeah, yeah, okay, let's, yeah. Can you do anything else like y equals x? I see, yeah, that's good. And y equals minus x? Yeah, okay. So we get on and do some stuff, do some sums. Okay. So where shall we start? Should, should we do something on length and gradients? And Yeah, okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, we've got some information here on the length, gradient, and midpoint. Got two points there, 917 and 337, yeah. Okay, and we want to find out how far apart they are, yeah, and what the gradient is, the slopey line, yeah, that's it, and, and what the midpoint, halfway between them, yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You want to draw it? Okay, so you really should be able to take the lid off, shouldn't you? Can you, can you even hold it? How does that work? You're going to get your ear covered. Uh, 9.17. Yeah, so... Should we join them up? And go on in. Okay. Then what? I see. Well, that's a bit like a triangle, is it? A right angle triangle. Yeah, you're looking a bit. You're looking a bit tense. Yeah. What other information are we gonna? Are you gonna? Should we add some more information? Yeah. Go on in. Uh, so I'm going across. Yeah. So nine to thirty-three. Thirty-three take nine is twenty-four. Yeah. And uh, how about downwards? Yeah, what's that going to be? I hope you haven't just written on me. Um, 70, 10. 10 downwards. If we put a minus sign, we go downwards 10. So, uh, how long is that? How do you work out the length? Pythagoras. Oh, okay. So, so should we do on the back? Yeah. So, got, so 24 squared plus 10 squared. That's how long they are. Square root that. That gives you, I don't know. So, what's 24 times? 576. Um, 10 times 10, that's that. That's not even talking to me, is it? A hundred, okay, and then you square root all that, so square root of 676, that's, um, it's 26, isn't it? Okay, that's good. Don't get mucky. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, you're not really, not really fitting today. Oh, you're going to try again. So, the gradient is the slope, isn't it? The change in Y. Change in Y over the change in X. Okay, so that's... That's 24 divided by minus 10. 24 divided by minus 10. Okay. So 24 divided by minus 10. You can cancel it down. So 2 goes into both. So it would be a 12 over minus 12 fifths is the gradient. Minus 12 fifths. That's, else. that's not very good, is it? Minus 12 fifths. Your handwriting is worse than last time. And then finally the midpoints. Uh, how do you work out? So that will be halfway between 917 and 337. So, so 9 plus 33 is 42, and half of that is 21. That's good. And uh, 17 plus 7 is 24, okay, and you can halve and make 12, okay. So, what next? You've been holding a pen back to front of them, yeah? So, what, what have we got here? Let's take a look at that. So, we've got y equals mx plus c, yeah? And uh, you've, I see you've labelled it. So M is the gradient, and C is the y-intercept. That's right, yeah, good. Uh, so if you were given an equation like y equals 5x plus 7, um, then M would be 5, that would be the gradient, and C would be 7. OK, so that's, that's a bit easier, isn't it? Cause then, what about this one? 4x plus 2y equals 5. That's not written in the right format, is it? So I think we might need to sort that out. You're gonna get your ear dirty, yeah. Okay, so what? You're gonna write backwards. You're gonna. Okay, so you're gonna write as if you're not can't even look. So that's clever. Let's write with your back. Okay. So take away the four x. So two y equals. Your handwriting's better that way, really. Five minus four x, and then divide that all by two. Half of five is two and a half. That's right. And half of minus four is minus two. So the gradient is the number in front of x, that's the minus 2. 
I don't think this is a good idea. And the C is two and a half, that's the number. All on its own. It does look a bit weird though, doesn't it? Right in like that. So what have we got here? So we've got y equals two thirds of x plus four, and y equals minus six x plus one. So work out the gradients. Yeah, okay. So uh the two lines are parallel. That means they're the same steepness, doesn't it? So that means that the slope, that means the gradient, is going to be the same for each one. OK, now you're going to try and write again. So the gradient's the same for each one. So if it's two-thirds, then the gradient for parallel is two-thirds. Yeah, yeah that, that's easy enough. And the gradient for the other line, well, it was minus 6x plus 1, that is... Minus six. Oh, that's nice. How does perpendicular work? What well, you have to turn it upside down. Okay. Is that all you have to do? What else do you have to do? You have to change the side. Okay. So, so two thirds. What's that upside down? Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm having to help you with that, aren't I? Really, that's not a very good joke, is it? Okay, let, let's do it right. Well done. Okay, so get your ear out of the way. God. Who are making a pig's ear of this? So, turn that two thirds upside down. And you have to. That's why you have to put a minus sign in front of it. So, minus three over two. How do you turn minus six upside down? Isn't that just nine or something? So, what, what would that be then? Oh, you write it as six over one. And then you and then it becomes one over six. Okay, so you've got one final question for us, it's quite long, isn't it? So what's it say? Find the equation of the line which is parallel to y equals three x plus eight and passes through the point two five. Okay, so how would you do that? So you're using y equals mx plus c, good, okay, and then and what oh right. I'm saying all right before you start. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're using that same number there, but you still don't know what the y-intercept is. OK, that's good. And then what? Oh, you've got, you've got the 2 and the 5. OK, so when y is 5, I'll see what you're doing. So, uh, x is 2, so that's 3 times 2. So, oh, yeah, 3 times 2 is 6. So you've got 5 equals 6 plus c. So how do you, you take away the 6, yeah? OK. So you can't read that, can you? C is minus 1, OK. So what's the final answer? OK. 3x minus 1. Cool. You're a little bit dirty from all that. So we call it quits. Okay, so we wave goodbye. Bye. Bye. Should we do our Mr. Tumble impression? Okay. How did I can't remember how it goes. Goodbye, goodbye. How are, is that right? Yeah, we'll leave it there.